Now to some stunning pictures which show the brutality and beauty of life on our coastline. The annual salmon run has begun as huge schools migrate from the Southern Ocean to the warmer waters off Perth. And as Michael Thompson explains, life is tough in nature's fast light. On a beach in the southwest corner of the state, a feeding frenzy. Poor little herring trying their best to stay out of the way. A massive school of salmon, tons of them working together to push a huge school of herring onto the beach. Bit of a circle of life episode here. These pictures posted on Facebook were captured by Robert Lurie, who's clearly in awe of what he's seeing. Salmon are now collecting the herring as they just come streaming back into the water. Hundreds of herring are left stranded as they try to escape the marauding salmon. Nature is as spectacular as it is brutal. But this is a wonderful sight. Salmon numbers are getting back to the huge schools of the 1950s and 60s. Easter time normally signals the start of the migration. The Australian salmon is not one of our most favoured table fish, but highly sought after by amateur fishermen for its power and speed. It's like fishing in a fish tank right now. Though the salmon can become the hunted, and if anglers are wading out, they need to take care. Well, certainly when you see these large salmon schools coming around the coast, there are often sharks that are in the vicinity. They feed on the salmon. It's part of the natural uh, occurrence that we see out there. Um, so when people are out there fishing for salmon, be mindful of some of those safety risks. Thousands of West Australian anglers are expected to toss a line in over the Easter break. Fisheries also warn to be careful if fishing off rocks, though it's unlikely too many will be able to get as close as this. It really shows you that we do have some you know, really pristine um, marine environment in the southwest and it's great to see this sort of thing occurring quite naturally. Michael Thompson, Nine News.